You're crushing the windpipe, right? Yeah. Uh, you just, boom. 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 There's my rib shot or the my groin shot. Boom. You can get this and come down. Okay. 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 Sure. Uh, Single leg takedown. Uh, so we briefly discussed uh, linear with circular movements such as yeah. this, this, or even a rising elbow such as this. Yeah. What are some counters that we can use against something so like that? Over here. Hooks, um, like to the head. So a head hook comes. Um, you, you can do this, but. It's one of those moments if it, I call it the oh shit moment. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Oh shit, I wasn't ready. But at least you can block, right? So in blocking, you're not doing this. You're tucking your chin down and you're, you're going here and maybe you can go in with it if you're, if you're able, okay? But the key is don't raise the chin up. Don't raise your arm up, okay? Both go down, okay? Both go down because especially if he ends up aiming here, you want your arm in the way. You don't want him to hit your arm every single time because after a while, those muscles are going to be, they're getting bruised and beaten up. And eventually they won't be able to put your arm in those well. And that's a, a, another fighting tactic, but they're staying in that range, right? They're staying in that <coughs> kickboxing. So in this case, um, this, hold on. let's just say he throws a cross, and I bobble up on the cross, and he throws a big hook, and just step in and boom! There's my rib shot or my groin shot. And I bobble up on the cross. And he throws a big hook and you step in and boom! There's my rib shot or my groin shot. Right? So I, I can hit him in the ribs and stick with kickboxing if I want to. Or I can knee him sticking with the time and I come down with the elbow. Or I can knee him sticking with the time and I come down with the elbow. Or I can palm him in the nuts, which is what I'd rather do. Which is not so palm him in. It's like the, the more traditional it gets, the more deadly. <laughs> it progresses. It truly is. That's why they call it the sport of kickboxing and the sport of MMA and the sport of boxing. It's not, a, I mean, in some degree, it's a good um, fighting art, but uh, it has tons of holes in its repertoire, even with MMA, with the, with the blending of wrestling and jiu-jitsu and judo and muay thai and even though they're blending all that together, there's still holes in their repertoire because they're not allowed to stick your fingers knuckle deep in somebody's eye. And guess what? Someone takes you down out in public and you hit that hard concrete and your head goes bang and it's like dang it, he's on top of you. Just boom. And he's on top of you. Just boom. You can go for the eyes. Where in MMA, you can't. And bite. Yeah. And bite. Yeah. And crush the testicles and grab, grab the windpipe and crush it as much as you can. And as soon as you're doing this, you're crushing the windpipe, right? Yeah. Crushing the windpipe, right? Yeah. yeah. What happens? They don't like that. It doesn't yeah. feel good. Right? It sucks. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. <laughs> and what happens then? You have one hand free. They have both hands occupied. <coughs> you can do anything you want. So back to the yeah. So circular strikes in that respect. So no matter what, if he's coming in, I want to be under it, and I'm hitting knee or palm in the groin, or um, punching to the ribs, okay? Which? Yeah, you can knee. So watch, as I step forward, see how close I am? I can take him down if I want to. I can uh -huh. go for that single leg takedown, uh -huh. take him down. As I step forward, see how close I am? I can take him down if I want to. I can uh -huh. go for that single leg takedown, uh -huh. take him down. Or I can take him down this way. Boom, we can hit this and come put him down. Boom, we can hit this and come put him down. But all that has to be done rapidly in a fluid motion. But you know that if they're going to do something like that, if they're going to do something like that, try to take you down, and say you're throwing a hook, um, I personally would never do that. I don't want to get on the ground with anybody, ever. Even though I've been doing jiu jitsu since 94, I don't care. Because their eyes and the windpipe and the nuts are gone, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I, I will destroy them. <clears throat> so, so entrance. You have low, you have the low region, boom. Or, which, lower mid, or you have the high region. Okay, it's up to you. So you can go under the punch here, and hit, boom, hit the windpipe. You can come down here with a punch or an elbow. Or you can knee, come down with an elbow. Or you can palm with the groin. Here, come down with an elbow. <laughs> you do the face and the ribs, hits, soften the knee, whatever you want to do from there. Well, I'm 
punch here and hit boom, it's the balloon pipe. You can come down here with a punch or an elbow. Or you can knee, come down with an elbow. Or you can palm with a groin. Here, come down with an elbow. <laughs> you do the face, and the ribs, hit, soft on the knee, whatever you want to do from there. You resort to Kung Fu once you get inside. Just saying. <clears throat> so entries. Either outside the punch, inside the punch, or under the punch. Right? And it's the same if you throw a right punch. Right? I can step in and be inside the punch. Throw a right punch. Right? I can step in and be inside the punch. And there's a windpipe shot. Right? As soon as I hit to the windpipe, boom! There's my knee shot. <laughs> I come in. Right? <laughs> You don't have a cup on, so I'm not going <laughs> to But I'm just saying. It's the same thing if, uh, like... What, if, what if I throw an uppercut elbow? I, I've been thinking yeah, throw about an uppercut. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> They're so short. If I'm here, I got you the pin, and you go for that uppercut elbow, that's different. Right? Yeah. Because we're close. I'm trying to sneak my way. I think you're going to try to leave.